Do you know how to take a picture of the sun? Well, that is what this team is doing. Why different? Because observing objects at different wavelengths, the shapes and contents of them are diverse. So this team is developing a unique device. FY3E Solar X-ray Extreme Ultraviolet Imager. It's an instrument that takes pictures of the sun in the X-ray and extreme ultraviolet bands. Why do this? Because the sun has a vital impact on the Earth and human activities. The working band of the imager we developed is very short. It is a 0.6 nanometer to 8.0 nanometer X-ray band and 19.5 nanometer extreme ultraviolet band. This band can observe small changes that occur on the sun. Can this device really help us? This is Cutting Edge Focus, a series about the advanced technologies that are reshaping the world. I know science never goes easy, but take a picture for the sun? Hmm, I can't imagine how many problems this team is facing. In order to develop a space supply, space payloads and X-ray, extreme ultraviolet and extreme ultraviolet bands need to solve ultra-smooth multilayer mirrors, key technical issues such as high-sensitivity area array detectors and radiation measurement. X-ray pre-filter, EUV pre-filter, primary and secondary mirrors for X-channel and EUV channel. Selective filter. I know. It sounds complicated and kind of boring, but this team really did something cool. The imager we developed, it is to make full use of the middle position of the grazing instance of optical system, grazing instance X-ray telescope, organically combined with the EUV multilayer field normal incidence telescope. Under the condition of almost no increase in volume and weight, realize the image of solar X-ray and 19.5 nm extreme ultraviolet band. The Lyman Alpha Solar Telescope we developed, among them SCI as a dual band, high-resolution coronagraph, achieved using an optical system in two bands of 121.6 nm and 700 nm, simultaneously imaged the corona. We all know the weather forecast. It's mainly focused on the changes of the Earth's atmosphere. However, Professor Chun Bo and his team went higher and further. They are observing the sun, interstellar, and near-Earth space, so they could provide more accurate scientific data for space weather forecast. Then to avoid or reduce, loss from space weather event will be significant. In 1989, the biggest blackouts in history happened in Quebec, Canada. The main reason is that solar storms affect the geomagnetic distribution. Earth's magnetic field undergoes drastic changes. Induction of huge pulse currents in high voltage lines, burnout transformer, cause a massive blackout. At that time, Canada, North America, about 6 million people were affected. Besides, bad space weather could damage the satellite, interrupting shortwave communication burning long-distance oil pipelines and can cause many more disasters. If we could accurately predict solar activity, accurately forecast severe space weather events, we can prepare in advance. Well prepared. That's definitely what we should do, right? With the continuous iteration of technology, these wonderful devices will improve our observation ability, expand human vision and the possibility of human exploration of the universe. So what else are we going to do in the future? We will construct a solar interplanetary near-Earth space observation, a complete observation chain, tracking the effects of sun variations, accurately forecast space weather changes. The extreme ultraviolet camera we are developing, it will be installed on the relay star of the Chang'e 7 orbiting the moon. Real-time monitoring of the Earth, 
The 83.4 nanometers channel added by Chang'e 7 can monitor the distribution and changes of the Earth's oxygen ions, study the evolution of the Earth, predicting future loss of oxygen around Earth. Besides, we are still in orbit around the Sun, over the Sun's poles. At the Lagrangian point L1, observation plans such as observation of the Sun on point L5. Obviously, one after another challenging and ambitious plans are waiting for Chun Bo and his team. Once again, we are curious about the universe, the great unknown out there, and explore it not to conquer it, but to live in harmony with it and to know more about our home and neighbors. We may not know where we come from, but eventually humanity will step out from the cradle of the earth, venturing into the deep starry sky, constantly exploring the vast universe until we find a new home.